Have you seen the birthplace of bodybuilding recently? Man, Venice Beach has turned into a fucking real piece of shit dump. A real fucking ugly, filthy, disgusting ghetto. Not only on the fucking boardwalk, the pier area, where Muscle Beach is, the surrounding areas, and even where the Mecca Gold's Gym, which is, you know, within walking distance of, of the, uh, the Muscle Beach area, I'll use that for lack of a better term, you know, the famous boardwalk um, down there. Uh, it's the whole area of that part of California has just turned into one big homeless encampment of fucking disgusting drug crazed fucking savages that are fucking doing violent felonies day and night. Um, I, I hooked up with this guy on Twitter, Save Venice Beach, and he lives out there. He works out at the Gold's Gym at the Mecca. And he um, he's going to give me uh, updates, photos, and videos all the time. Um, uh, I haven't been out there because there's been no shows. California's been shut down with you know for the most part. Uh, L.A. Fit Expo and all of that stuff. Nothing's been going on in California, so I haven't been out there since the L.A. Fit Expo in January of 20, right? You know, two months or so, three months before COVID and all of the lockdowns and shit. So it is basically turned into a fucking dump. Now, what's really sad is you also got the fucking bodybuilding hall of fame at the pit at the Muscle Beach along the the cement barrier with all the plaques of all the fucking great bodybuilders. So. Um, uh, I wrote an article on the website and it was like Main Street where the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame is in Cooperstown, New York. Imagine if as you're walking down Main Street, it's like a little fucking homeless fucking tents and everything. Do we, um, I'll show some B-roll here, but I, this is just going to be just the, the beginning. I, I'm, I'm going to keep doing these fucking videos and keep making everybody in our industry aware, aware of the fucking disgusting pieces of shit in California, the politicians have turned what used to be like, the you know, you made a pilgrimage. You went and saw the first Gold's Gym, which is a landmark. Uh, it's just an empty building. I got a pretty interesting video of the front and back of it uh, from years ago, from 2012, when I worked with Flex. I have it on my YouTube channel here. Um, but these videos are what's going on now. Uh, people fucking fighting, you know, fucking baseball bats being swung and shit like that. I mean, it's just fucking homeless drug ad addiction, fucking disgusting fucking Neanderthals. It really is. It, it, it's, it's a shame because this is the sport that uh, I, I chose to be in the industry of. And that is where, you know, Arnold, Franco, all of these, all these guys, the original Gold's Gym, Muscle Beach, the pit. I mean, we all fucking, you know, we've all gone there as fucking fans. I've gone there a million times as a fucking uh, journalist. And, you know, first time I went in like 1990 or 91, we worked out at the original Gold's Gym, the rooftop when that was still open. Uh, we uh, not the goals the world excuse me but we hung out by the pit and all of that and all the beaches and it was cool you know we I I had a fucking blast you know we did go to Gold's Gym the current one um, and to see that now especially after being in this industry and being there for numerous photo shoots with guys and stuff like that um, as part of uh, muscle development and flex and muscle and fitness and then also muscle sport of course also. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? You're letting these fucking animals fucking just take this fucking over? You know, it's disgusting. And you can thank Newsom, Corsetti, all of these pieces of shit. Democrats, fucking liberal bastards out in fucking uh, in, in California. But hey, don't let that hold you up from going to musclesportmag.com slash store. Look at that. Greg Valentino shirt, first issue ever. You can get the fucking back issues. You can get subscriptions. You can get single issues. And, of course, all the apparel. I got a bunch of the covers on T-shirts now. Sizes range from fucking, like, extra small to, like, 6XL in some of them with a plethora of colors. Plethora, Alice. So make sure you go to our store page. Check out what we have to offer. And I'll keep you up to date on this. There's going to be a lot fucking more where this came from, these videos and photos of the shithole that is Venice Beach. Hey guys, it's Cheyenne Hacker, aka Guns and Weights on Instagram, and you're watching Muscle Sport TV.
I'm on a rampage, mask on my damn face Let's go. Come on, mama, let's go. Let's hit this shit. Twenty twenty Olympia Fan Pavilion. What's going on, my friend? Long time no see. You're right, man. Good to see you again. Richie B right here. You know I hang out with Lee Haney a lot. Spoke to Lee Haney actually this morning. And he'll have your predictions for the uh, Mr. O later on tonight. But my my vision and my opinion on the uh, Olympia, first of all, thank you to uh, Mr. Solomon. Thank you to Jake Wood for everything that's going on. The men, top three, Brandon, Phil, Big Rami. I spoke to Big Rami this morning as well. He is confident. He got this. But you know, I'm really close to Brandon, so you never know, man. Brandon looked really good polished. The Bikini Girl just got off, and you know my girl, Sonia B. Lewis, is a big fan of Jen Dory. So Jen Dory got my top win, and hopefully she gets it. But other than that, the Olympia looks fantastic. The fan people are fantastic. And no, you do a great job with everything you do on social media, brother. I appreciate it. Enjoy 2020 Olympia. <laughs> Thank you. And speaking of things that look fantastic, <laughs> that's what MSM brings you.
Probably one of the last things you think about when you're grabbing the weight and you're trying to get a good grip on it and you want to get the good amount of reps out of it and all of that good stuff. And even though you're looking at yourself in the mirror, sometimes your form sucks. It happens to all of us, especially towards the end of a set when you already got, you know, the pre-exhaustion's already in and now it's almost exhaustion and you're just trying to get those last few reps out. So you just kind of, you know, <laughs> the king of swing, da, 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 right? The whole thing with this old guy training tips is that I told you it was a four part thing. And this is basically uh, stuff that I got from Greg Valentino. Uh, so what you really need to do is uh, lighter weight, higher reps, uh, short rest period, and form. Now, the main thing with the, how could you do higher reps, short rest period, and uh, lighter weight, uh, and, and good form if you don't use lighter weight? It doesn't make any sense. You have to use lighter weight. I don't care if you use 20s, 25s, 30s, so whatever's light for you. Now, I... I do 20s and 25s most of the time for my buys, for my side lateral raises, things like that. You know, those type of exercise. More like, you know, isolating that, that just that one spot. Uh, you know, maybe uh, stuff with the kickbacks for the tries and all of that. But if your form is lousy, those last few reps are the most important ones that are the whole fucking set. So if you're going to do 15 reps and you're going to... Ah, fuck that. Fuck that old guy. I'm fucking 30. I can use 40s. Go ahead. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can do 40, 15 reps strict at 10 seconds in between sets and pick it up and have that same intensity. God bless you if you can. I certainly cannot. Uh, even probably back when I was younger, before I fucked up my elbow and back and all of that stuff, I probably thought I was doing, oh yeah, I curl X, you know. Uh, uh, I probably thought I was doing good, but I was, you know, I can get, how many reps you get with that? Eh, six to eight, you know, when guys say that. I get like four perfect. And the last two, you know, maybe a little, you know. Drop the fucking weight. See how you can do 15, three or four sets with 10 seconds in between each. And you tell me what weight is good for you. Like I said, sometimes 25s are fucking too much. I got to go with the 20s. Because I really want, especially with a kickback, you want to get it. You don't want to do this. The fuck is this? <laughs> hey, Brad Lynch? <laughs> was that his name? I don't know. Oh, no, Carrie, you would have it a fuck. That pitcher's name, Brad Lynch, was on the fucking 09 Phillies. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Forget about it. Go with the lighter weight. Go with the short rest period. Do those higher reps. But do the form right. That's you, you gotta you gotta stick to strict form, and do the whole fucking thing. If you want to do half reps and stuff like that, do them as kind of drop down set, kind of super set, whatever you want to call that kind of thing. You know, like a lot of times when I'm doing like a hammer for my chest, I'll do my 15 reps full, and then I like sometimes when I'm doing like the uh, the the incline, I like to just do like. 10 reps at the end of my 15 of like just a third of the way up. The decline one I like to pour all the way out and really squeeze that chest in. So just give it a shot. Listen, if you can do more weight, God bless you, but if your form sucks on those reps 10 through 15, you're missing the whole fucking boat. Hey, speaking of fucking getting energy and doing right in the gym, Vince'sProducts.com also, Vince'sMuscleShop.com. This is their pre-workout. So check them out at Vince'sMuscleShop.com. And, of course, MuscleSportMag.com slash store. Rich Piana. Summer 2015 t-shirt. Back issues, subscriptions, single issues. All your stuff at our store page.
Kat Sakor, IFBB Pro and Super League Pro, and you're watching Muscle Sport TV. And in the end, the love you take is equal to the